Hello everyone, my name is Steve from Flat Rock Jewelry and Exchange and today we will be conducting the acid test. I will be showing you how we test pieces of gold jewelry if it's a questionable piece or or if it's uh, not marked but we will be testing a couple pieces of jewelry today and, and demonstrating this particular test that's commonly used with all jewelers uh, that are currently buying gold from the public and whatnot. So to conduct this test we have a few things here. We have different types of acids. Each one is labeled and marked for the carat of gold it's used to test. Uh, they are different potencies for the different carats and react in different ways. Um, we have a file. This is used uh, if the scratch test is not sufficient and you want to get a little more in depth you can score into a piece of jewelry and, uh, and get beyond any plating or whatnot that, that may be uh, giving you a, a misread on the test. Uh, the glass cleaner is commonly used to neutralize the acid once you're done because you don't want to get that stuff on your hands. You get it on your hands and it'll, it'll turn your hands a uh, orangey color and, and it takes sometimes a, a week or two to even for the skin to die off and you'll look like you know you'll have orange fingers so you don't want to get the stuff on your hands if it's preventable and then last but not least we got a few pieces of jewelry here uh, we got three rings here uh, all of them are marked 14 karat uh, but the first thing we do you know we, we look at the pieces and we look for the marks because uh, that's you know that's an indicator sometimes when you see the mark if it's if it's real or if it even needs to be tested so we're going to give you a demonstration here. As I said, they're all marked. Uh, we use a loop here to find the marking. And on this loop we have a magnet. Because if you didn't know, gold and silver will not stick to magnets. So the first thing we do when we're looking at jewelry is we'll go across the pile or the pieces with a magnet to see if they stick. That one doesn't stick that one doesn't stick and that one does so right now I'm gonna save myself a little bit of time and I'm not even gonna test this this piece is sticking to the magnet like glue it's obviously not real gold so we're gonna set that one off to the side right now and we're not gonna waste any more time with that piece but these two which are both marked 14 karat and neither one is sticking to the magnet uh, but to be safe instead of just buying the pieces I'm, I'm gonna test it I'm gonna do the acid test for our demonstration today so we take a ring and we scratch it on the stone like this and you want to get a good scratch on there okay set that off there this one here we're gonna scratch as well And notice, you know, sometimes you'll test five, six pieces at a time, so you'd want to line them up accordingly with the scratches. It's just easier to determine what's what. And since they're marked 14 karat, I'm going to use the 14 karat acid to test them. No sense in using any other test since they're both marked 14. So take the acid and you just give a nice little streak going across the stone there. This is an Arkansas stone. Different, different quality. This is a better one. And as you see here, what happened is with this acid, get in a little closer here, the chemical reaction for proper 14 karat gold would be that it doesn't disappear. Where the acid hits on the scratch, it would stay gold and it would stay um, it would stay on the stone. So you see the piece on the left here on the stone the acid did not disappear or I should say the scratch did not disappear but the one on the right where we scratched it where the acid hit it disappeared. It disappeared right away. So that would, that would uh, lead me to believe that the piece on the right is not gold at all and the piece on the left is. So that is the acid test. Like I said, commonly used 
by all jewelers buying gold. It's the cheapest way to, to test gold. And you want to neutralize that acid to uh, prevent it from getting on your fingers or getting on anything else. So another way to test with the acid would be, like I said, to score into the piece of jewelry. I'm going to show you this one here that's not gold, what it would do if you were to score into it and actually hit the piece itself with the acid. So we score into it, a little mark as such. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. And we're going to hit this with some acid. Again, the 14 karat acid. And you see it's smoking and it's lighting up green like a Christmas tree. Clear indication this is not gold. Now, if it was gold, it wouldn't have any kind of reaction. It would stay clear and it would not bubble or do anything of the such. So there you have it. That's the acid test. And thank you for watching.